Zach Bowie Towers. <laughs>Ellen Harold. Hi. Ah. Woo! Oh my god. You know what's god. so funny is I couldn't I thought I had had you on the pod already because that one day you came over and brought treats and we just like we just chatted. hung out. I know. And I was like it, fe- it felt like we did a Very pod. Very rare to do like an, a wholesome hang anymore wholesome without hang. the whole setup. Though everybody's hooked up nowadays. Everyone's got a pod. I know. But sometimes you got to bring I brought over like it was funny cuz I brought over like sprinkles cupcakes yeah sprinkles, something and you you were like oh great i just made two batches of cookies and we i kind of i think i had a toothache when i left but my heart was full my yes heart, my belly were full oh we had a whole spread yeah of treats and you told me that epic story about the italian boy the italian which i'm sure boy. will come up on yeah, this which up. i'm it'll so come. excited yeah. about and it's it's so crazy ellen and i just i did her show which is uh, in Venice at Roosterfish. Is it weekly now? Weekly. Thursdays. Wow. I was there when I, you, it was monthly. Yeah. So you did the first ever, Zach did the first ever show. It was a monthly show. It was the first time it was just, it was like the summer 2021. We were just coming out of the pandemic. Oh my God. Um, I can't believe it's over a year ago. Yeah. Over, a, over a year ago, like a year and a half ago, basically. And it sold out uh-huh. and then it was monthly again. It sold out in advance. So we were like, okay, let's do it twice a month uh-huh. that would sell out in advance <gasps> so we just went weekly over the summer and, and you're still like selling out and it's it's i'm so lucky it's such a great way to meet and collaborate with like the best comics in in town and everyone everyone coming through town from different places and it's um, a perfect setup because it's back away, away from, from, the from it's separate yeah because <clears throat> truth be told love rooster fish the people that frequent Roosterfish are not necessarily my people. Sure. They're people who, you know. Are they like stuck up? A little bit. And uh, like people who go and and can afford a $20 g- gin and tonic. It's right. just like, we. what do we have in common? We're different. Like we're not. Like, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm no, saving please. this $20 yeah, for I'm like. saving this $20. Yeah. The grocery store. We're literally the grocery <laughs> store or like $20. Like I can't imagine like $20. That's like two lunches. Oh my God. I don't a, know. A you know. cocktail for 20. Like that's not even good. Yeah. I could do it. I don't want to do that. I don't know. Um, yeah. But you are, you're not a baby comic at all, but you're kind of new to LA. Abs- yes. <clears throat> I think I'm, I think, so I've been doing stand up for, for four years. Okay. I started doing stand up in the fall of 2018 uh, in New York City. Did you ever live in New York? Mm-mm. You didn't live there. Okay. I just you, visited. Did every you, once did you in start while. here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I knew that. You started here 46 I'm, years ago. 46. Wow. <laughs> and you haven't aged today. Um, I yeah moved here to LA during the pandemic fall of 2020. Wow! So spent two years in New York doing the grind, uh-huh. like multiple open mics a night with the boys. Trains all yeah, over. Yeah, exactly. And it was that was super fun. It was a great way to like get funny mm-hmm, fast. Mm-hmm, I guess mm-hmm. you know. And I'm not saying like I'm I'm I got funny, but no, it's like, she's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, means a lot coming from a forty-six years. Forty-six, in yes. Yeah, I mean, what that makes me 60, 63 of, that yeah. of the craft. <laughs> it means a lot. The endorsement. Yeah, please do it on LinkedIn as well if you. Could. Oh, oh my God, yeah. LinkedIn! Yeah. What a graveyard of what a graveyard notifications. Yeah, um, poke me on LinkedIn if you could. Is that do they thing? poke? No, <laughs> it's just a Facebook. They thing. probably do something. They though. do like a. I think it's like endorse. It's they should oh, really. Do, they should do if it was like real office culture like a shoulder rub on linkedin like your body like a, a, a touch on the small of the back on linkedin from my older boss um, a shoulder rub yeah, on linkedin a, sh- a shoulder funny. rub on linkedin okay um yeah moved here 2020 so like 2 years ago started the show that next year it was so weird moving here cuz it was in the middle of the pandemic and yeah. everything closed and i was like okay i guess i'll like i don't know what to do See i was like up. nannying and then i i got this job um i i well just for the backstory i like was an au pair in italy for a little bit so i speak italian i ended up going to this like italian pizza place and i like heard the owners like speaking italian and so i started speaking with them and blah 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 then i i needed a job because the nanny job ended so the next day after i ate there i went back and the owner was there and he was like, and I was like, hi, I don't know if you remember me. And he was like, of course. Yeah. You were sitting right there Italian, and you were speaking yeah. Italian with me. And I, I, he was like, what do you need? And I was like, a job. a job. So 
stand up wasn't happening. Working at a restaurant, I never wanted to do that when I did comedy because you don't want to be busy at night. No. Um, but I'm like, it's the pandemic. I need a job. I need to pay rent. I guess I'll just like work at this restaurant. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, this is really stupid. I don't know what I'm doing, but I need the money. So I'm going to do it. And then that owner, the the guy, he found out that I did stand up, and we were going to, and he, you know, we talked about doing a show. Yeah. And he's the owner of the bar rooster fish where I do the show. now. So, initially when I was like, this is the worst thing for stand up that I could possibly do is work at this restaurant. It ended up being, I the, love it. I know. The I ins- love it. Isn't that great? I, so never work at that restaurant for a little bit, you know, don't be afraid. It'll all work out. The worst thing turns into the best thing. The best thing, best thing now, turns into the worst. So, you right. know. And now since the show is a weekly show, I'm, I don't work at the restaurant anymore. I'm just able to do that show, show, which I'm still working for the same guy. So, I mean, I'm, I'm keeping wow. it loyal, keeping it loyal, but I leveled up a little bit and that's incredible. That yeah. Yeah. That's like really trusting in the universe. Yeah. I had to, you know, you just have to, you just have to speak enough Italian and weasel yes. your way into your dreams. <laughs> Paolo did it in Lizzie McGuire. You yes. can do it too. I was gonna say, it it's too. very movie like for you to go in, speak Italian and then like go back the next day and get the job. I'm a go- I'm like kind of scrappy. I think New York teaches you. You no one's gonna no one's Mm-mm. gonna give it to you. You're gonna have to take it. You're you have to go knock take someone it. down. You pull yeah. it from their hand. No. You have to yeah. You have to pull it from their hands. You have to yeah. You have to go to a restaurant in a strip mall when before it opens and haggle with an with a grown Italian man <laughs> while his do- while his daughter is there. for your livelihood. Yeah, yeah. it's. I mean, you got to do it. You got to be a go getter sometimes. Fucking love it. But yeah, New York taught me how to do that. LA it works in LA as well yeah I don't know okay brilliant so, love the backstory love the backstory now sex let's podcast. talk about sex yes. <laughs> yeah like love your career but like what's going inside no, of you you know what's so funny is when you were saying all that I was like how do I even segue from here and I was like I can't I just have to like we just have to go I'm go for it did. yes just, yeah um <laughs> break, break my coffee deal hi yeah <laughs> um okay sex do you remember the first thing that made you horny or the first thing that like awakened your absolute? Well, I don't remember the exact. Oh, I guess I do. Um, there was a Disney Channel original called yes, there was. the 13th. Wait, no, not the 13th year. Yeah, it actually sounds familiar. 13th year uh-huh. or th- 13. It's not 13 reasons why, but it's 13. <laughs> Uh, that was the first time I felt a wiggle Ellen's down there was 14. 13. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I'm a I'm masochist, like very dark, dark thoughts. Um, make <laughs> really get me off. No, I, um, was that part of the problem in that show it, though? They like glamour, like it was like sexy yeah, suicide. Yes. Ooh, sexy suicide. Um, that's the podcast I'm going to be starting next. <laughs> maybe it'll be the title. Maybe you know, like, be, people freak no, out. Yeah. Like, people aren't going to like God, it. When I was a kid, we used to threaten to kill ourselves all the time. Yeah. Like, I feel like I do it around myself. my close friends. Yeah. I'll, I'll do a, I'll throw in oh to kill God. myself. Yeah, I'll throw in to kill myself. Yeah, I'll throw in a couple other. It's you know it's fine. Yeah. Okay, wait. Thir- so the thirteenth year, year was there like a boy? It's a, mer- it's or a girl? yeah. This guy famously uh, <laughs> turns into a mermaid. It's the merman one. I don't know if you saw this one. He was cute. I don't even. I would love to see a picture of him now. I don't remember like, but in my memory, he was like the hottest guy I've ever seen, and he was turning into a mermaid, which is like that's hot to me. Like yes. you can swim, you've got the bod, even yes. though in reality, if you think about it, you don't have a dick anymore Mm-mm. if you're a mermaid, which actually that's probably the thing that turned me on the most is I was like, okay, we don't like, I don't know what a dick is cause I'm young. So and I don't have to worry so about this it. Will be great. I just get to dry hump a scaly mermaid tail. Probably wet hump. Probably wet, ugh, wet hump. Honestly, a merman's, I, I've never had a vagina, but a merman's like glistening slick body might be very fun to like grind against definitely and it's very like i feel like we'd have stuff to talk about like i just feel like we'd have more in common if, <laughs> oh down there if a man just wise. had a scaly tail we would have way more so to talk, more about, to at talk dinner. about yeah uh <laughs> that's so funny so anyway i definitely felt so when i saw that movie i think there's a kiss in the movie or there's something or maybe just him but i remember feeling like i had to pee 
I was like, I, I really have to pee because I didn't know what feeling horny down there felt like. But I was like, oh, got to go pee. And then I went to the t- I'm like, I, I actually don't have to pee. I'm actually an idiot. <laughs> I'm actually I don't horny. I don't know my body at all. That's interesting, though. I've never heard the pee sensation. Yeah. You just had a sensation. And I had you a sensation. It was and a I was like sensation? any sensation that I've had in my vagina up to like this like point of I my what, like 10 year. I don't even know how how is 10 early to be horny. I don't know. Whenever no, I saw I the movie, 10 is normal. People, right on. I didn't do this. My sister, sorry if you're watching, I'm going to out you. <laughs> and I know other people that did this, like we're humping their um, stuffed, animals. stuffed animals. And she wasn't doing this in front of me or anything, but she later told me that she, that she did do that. And I don't, I never um, got into that. I never was a you stuffed You never humped a stuffed animal? No. And I'm not, I'm not a butt. I, I kind of wish I were clever <laughs> enough to have thought of it at the time. Uh, Cause that does sound like a great time. I was just, you know, play, I was probably having them fake fight or some fucked up shit. I don't oh, know stuffed what animals. I was trying to do. Yeah. The stuffed animals. But, um, that is a good segue humping though. Humping them is better. Do you remember when you discovered your body? Um, so I think freshman or soft it was like high school mm-hmm. um you mean like masturbating yeah yeah ma- like yeah. first orgasm <laughs> yeah. yeah like the that. first time I, I looked in the mirror i'm like oh my god i'm, <gasps> not, I'm not just a floating head this uh, is insane i'm not a, mer- I have a body mermaid and it's kind of gas <laughs> it's kind of a good body <laughs> super proud of this um yeah i yeah i was you know just in bed there was no Ryan. like did you have older sister or you I had an older sister did they and talk a younger about sister. it my older sister I think well she was telling me that she humped her stuffed animal sure and it wasn't like she told me last week like she told me like she told me like soon enough after it had happened that I was like oh you're like maybe still doing this yes you know yes, like yes, we yes, were like yes. still kids I was like that's hilarious and also like you're weird but I'm also, not like, gonna touch yourself yeah I'm not yeah. gonna touch uh <laughs> fluffy anymore at all uh we had webkins. I feel like webkins were a good hump. Do you, do you remember webkins? You, no, you might, they might've been a little bit after your time. They were saying webcams. No. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, we would do. <laughs> we had webcams we in our house. We made thousands of sister, dollars. Yeah, we were the original only fans. Yes. My, my sister would hump her stuffed animals <laughs> on, on live my stream. dad's work computer. Yes. And it was a whole, yeah, we don't see him anymore. Wait, no. well, <laughs> He's not, an, he's not around. Wait, he's Webkins. I can't even picture how Webkins, it's spelled. Web, web, like the interweb. Okay. Kins. K I N Z. Don't let it fool you. Wow. It was these little. It was like the fur. It was like the internet. It was like Club Penguin era. I don't okay. know if you remember that too. But um, our safe way to use the internet. Our first like, I feel like it was my first like chat like everyone's on the internet in this like thing sure what is it called like a chat room or something a chat room, yeah. anyway you have you would buy the stuffed animal at a store where uh-huh. they sell them you would buy the webkins and then the webkins had a tag that had like a little code or something like and you that would get into you went on to webkins.com you you're like hey this is like the webkins that i got then there was a virtual like let's say you had i had like a uh, like a platypus or something uh-huh. then like the digital picture a, of the platypus it's like hey and you named it and all that stuff almost like um oh my god we had Tama- Tama- tamagotchi yeah, yeah it was literally the next wave of that because i remember that too i was like young for that and then you communicated with other animals yeah, yeah or you, with other yeah, you could animals? communicate you could go to i'm like so totally blanking on what we would do but you could like make food you could like make food almost and like, like um wait, what's that thing where everyone builds like their world sims Sim- no, yes but, but sims adjacent it's like oh my god not mine no no but it's like oh man you would definitely know it because it's like not people are still doing it i did a comedy show as one of these characters uh it's not sims no but you it's very like that someone farm will tell bill. us farmville <clears throat> Is that, I don't know if you is, remember that. I don't, I don't, I never played it, but okay, I do, yes. I have heard of it because I'm, I'm not living yeah. under, <laughs> under a rock. I've heard of Farmville. Okay. Okay. You wait. So, so anyway, how yes. did we get to Webkin? We got to Webkin because oh, my hump sister them? was humping them. Yes. My sister was, hum- <laughs> don't worry, Zach. I didn't take it that far from sex. Okay. We were humping wait, the Webkins. We were humping them. But I needed don't to give you the worry. backstory of what they were. Um, as a 63 year old man, I do need to yes. inform you what the Thank webkins you. Now, were. What's the web? What's the web? Yeah. What's, what's the interweb? Yeah. The, the, what, well, yeah. What's the internet? <laughs> How is, are you guys watching on the internet? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, she would, 
yeah, she was humping. Oh, but you, okay, but, you were a freshman or sophomore, and then I was. Oh my god! And then yeah, I was. I remember I had I had sex pretty early. I had a high school boyfriend mm-hmm. for like two years. Like it was like a long like from my sophomore year to my senior year. Was he your in your he was, grade? He was in my grade. Mm-hmm. Um, I had sex with him when I was fifteen. Okay, and on a um on a in my on a. a big it was like a classy bean bag in my de- so we had a in our basement in, of my dad's house we had a suede like love sack bean bag a big so one. it was like a, a big one so when i tell i mean it's jarring to say like i lost my virginity on a bean bag in my dad's basement <laughs> like that doesn't sound good but i'm telling you picture brown suede we had like kind of a like a faux fur blanket over sure. it like it was kind of a lair like it was it was hot was it the plan to have sex on it um or was it I the familiar we, hookup place we had been we had been down there before watching a movie and i think both of us kind of eyed the beanbag and knowingly glanced at each other like that's gonna be the place <gasps> like that's but like not it wasn't a yeah it was spoken a vocalized, thing but yeah. if you're if you're 15 years old i think that you romanticize having sex on a beanbag i think you're like i made it I'm I'm fucking on a beanbag. I love beanbag chairs. So I love much. sex. Yeah, like let, this will be a good. Were, was it a good experience? It was actually a good experience. It didn't hurt that bad. I th- I think, um, I had. This is like kind of a graphic. Am I allowed to be? Yeah. I feel oh my like god. My, I please. feel like okay. <laughs> I please. feel like my. I feel like my. Do you know when you're? It's like so your hymen breaks or whatever. Mm-hmm, it's. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's so long ago that I'm like. It's hymen. Am I is saying that right? Man? Hymen. I haven't seen her in years. <laughs> um, I haven't seen her in years. But uh, I think that like broke during a fingering. Sure. So the that was sex, like out of the way, and that I was like, oh weird. Um, and a that, lot of like, people kinda, can break their hymen in yeah various ways. in various per- ways, yes. which is another would be a fun. Uh, a separate like a segment to do is like how did you, how did you, did break, you break your hymen, hymen? Yeah, I feel like, like do girls always know when and where they broke it no but I definitely I was like he fingered me and then I like bled so I was like well I'm not on my period so, so that's you, it and that hurt so yeah. you definitely popped oh my you god broke through the barrier yeah but it was the same guy so it's like tech- so I, f- I was like you know um, I kept it loyal. Sure, and I was like, "You broke the hymen. You deserve. You break to get it. You bought it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you buy it. Where are we going to dinner after this? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would seemed only fair to let him uh, to be let the him first. Put, yeah, to let him be the first. But it was a good experience. Good experience. Uh, the song. <gasps> the song did you have a playlist right? going no but it was it was actually maybe i maybe i did but it wasn't like my sex play like this sure. would be my, my virginity playlist list. it was my fuck list <laughs> this will it was um bright eyes by oh, some yeah. band but it's like a soft little song what is that i i know the song you know the song but i can't think said, of who it's by or right. maybe that's who it's by and the title is something else sure, i don't sure. know um that song so it was like in a, it was like just I felt calm because that's a very calm song. Yeah, like it's a uh, soothing. I, I literally can't even remember how it goes, but if I heard it, I would. Like, that's the song. I would, yeah, if, yeah. If I heard it, I would. Get was there like a lot of talk about having sex? And had you done other stuff before this? I had done. I I had done a lot of like people. People fingered me. That sounds. <laughs> People were fingering me. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, people were most, fingering me. If you, I mean, if you look back, most people were fingering Stop. me. Stop. <laughs> no, no. But I did. I did a lot of like. Um, I did a lot. Oh, this is good. I did a lot of. You're gonna love this. I got it. I did Go a lot on, of juicy. side. I did a lot of making out with the guy's knee rubbing on me. Sure. So they do this. It's like a figure four, and then I'm straddling the knee, and I'm like. I'm I'm like oh I get why we would want to have sex to do this because like yeah 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 so I was doing a lot of like knee dry hump making out <laughs> and I was doing I had someone fingered me on a roof Ooh. like I was not like people weren't like oh Ellen she puts out like if that wasn't the vibe but I definitely like you did some in stuff. the situ like being put in the situation and as long as i was you know comfortable comfortable with it but who knows when you're in high school i i definitely probably let people finger me that i Wasn't didn't too want jazzed to about yeah yeah and that happens to a lot of people in that i mean girls in that in that situation um because you're just like 
this is this what is I it. signed up for. Ugh. Like, like I, I came up <clears throat> to his apartment or like we're in this, he like we're in the bed. Like me out. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, which sucks. And I think people are getting better at talking about that so that women don't feel like you have to just go with it every time. No. Because like, why did, ugh, it's like, why do we have to be fingered badly in order to like not hurt a man's feelings? You don't. You don't have to. I can relate to that though too, going through something because you didn't want to be rude or you didn't want to like hurt, yeah, hurt his feelings yeah. and you're like, no, you should really just say what you want. We are really raised to like whatever you do, don't hurt a man's feelings. Don't hurt a straight man's feelings. Well, you can mostly. get yourself killed. Yeah, you could yeah, yes, true. Yeah, it's like whatever you do, don't don't make him angry. Like yeah. he's fucking Hulk or something. Yeah. And I mean, I mean he, he could be, you know. He could We can hope. The, yeah, we, yeah, we can hope he's Hulk in the good way. Yes. In a non-violent way. So did you you um had that was when you were a sophomore? Or sophomore sex <clears throat> on the bean bag. And then, and then kept, I remember <laughs> sophomore sex in the beanbag, my new podcast. Yes. Um, please so like listen and subscribe. everywhere. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, I remember having a healthy sex life with my high school boyfriend. Like I liked sex. Mm -hmm. Um, it was good. <laughs> I liked sex. It, it was, was good. good. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, like ugh, me lying. Um, <laughs> That's me lying. Uh, no, it was good. We would have sex in his bedroom while his like mom and his like stepdad were home and like definitely heard. <gasps> really? Like everyone was so chill about he, he had a young mom. So okay. his mom had him at 19. OK, so she was like in her 30s like while I was banging her son. You know what I mean? Like, like, we're yeah, like, get I, it. like, and I was like, oh, this is his mom. But it's like, that's a young person. That's a young. 30s, she was like 36 or something. And I was like, so she probably like, I don't know. I don't know what she's like. Well, actually she should have been more. I, I mean, more vigil about more vigil because she's like hey i had you when i was 19 can you all not do that please like i but or or i mean maybe that would make history him feel repeats bad. itself yeah like i hated having you don't do that like i i'm maybe yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, she yeah, didn't yeah. say that You're hypothesizing um but they were all nice yeah they were all nice as nice as they you know they i, I it was a lot of this it was a lot of i had a, a great life it was a lot of you know you, you would go to school do your sport or your activity and then I would go to his house. We would have sex and then dinner would be made. Like we would leave. I would leave from an orgasm to like a hot meal. My wow. life. I was living the life. I was living the life that happened at both. Oh, after my after bean bags, after bean bag, my stepmom, because it was my dad's, dad's house, place. calls down the Buffalo Wild Wings are here. <gasps> so this, I associate, I had a very good association with sex. First time I had sex, boom, Buffalo three Wild different Wings. flavors of Buffalo <gasps> Wild Wings, boneless, bone in, I, bone in, bone I in. had bone in, <laughs> the wings were boneless. Uh, we got there folks. Thank you for That's listening. so funny. <laughs> That's bone the in. Um, yeah. Bone in, bone, bone, bone out. I don't yeah. know. Bone in, bone out, whatever you guys decide what to do with the pieces of that puzzle. <laughs> it, all the pieces are there. It's They're a great, there. it's a great bit. Enjoy. Very smart. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so Buffalo Wild Wings was associated with sex. So I was like, okay, I can definitely get into this. And it was a lot of hot meals after sex. After that point, I think I kind of set the bar. I set the precedent. Like, okay. And, sex and, then. and yeah, I think that's how, and now I feel like that's how, who's not so, <laughs> like fucking ravished. Well, it's all after. about having sex before you eat too. Sex, at least for yeah, me. sex before you eat, and then because if you're you're too full, you can't get the you full the thrust. full experience. I never want to fully thrust after <laughs> after a, after Buffalo Wild Wings. After Buffalo, yeah, it's got to be Buffalo Wild. It'd be Wings so funny post. if you were still like horny for Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, now I I can't say that Buffalo Wild Wings. Like seeing one, I it doesn't make me think of sure, sex. sure, sure. Damn. Which is, I know. Sorry, what a, Buffalo what, Wild I Wings. Know, what a, it was such a lost opportunity for them, for <laughs> their marketing team. Uh, they There's could, still they, time. They could have had me. Yeah, they could have had me raving about the sexuality of their product. Were you having orgasms with sex with your boyfriend? I was boyfriend? having orgasms in high school, which is, um, I think it's pretty rare. I don't know if I it's rare. I think it's very. Very rare. But it was the magic of having one partner. Oh. So... Well, I mean, obviously, obviously you. people have one partner that never makes them come and that 
Ooh. That sucks. Right? Ob- obviously. I mean, that sucks. Uh, but it's a truth. But that was not my case. I was I was um getting my fill uh, yeah, you were. in the bedroom and in the kitchen afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, you best believe. Um, well, that's really um yeah, it was, yeah. gratifying to hear. That as a high school, like as a young person you were. I was, yeah. And then <clears throat> after, but then, I, you know, after I broke up with with him, I had, you know, it was like too many orgasms. I was like, hey, you've put in your hours. The log sheet's full. Clock out. 100 orgasms. Excellent work. Give him a pound it. I'm like, I have to go to college now. <laughs> I have to go to college and not come for four years. Thank Is that you. what happened? Well, no, because like I had a boyfriend in college later that that, it, that the sex was good with. But all my one night stands, I don't know if people can can relate. If I have the first time I have sex with with someone, or at least in college, now it's it's better. But the first time I have sex, I don't come because it's like this guy, this this straight guy that I met at this party. And in college, a lot of the time it was like a frat party. Mm. Like you don't know what you're doing. You don't even know how you got here. Like you're thanking your lucky stars that we're even here right now. Sure. I don't think you're. You didn't expect gotta, to make it this far. Sure. It, I can tell you're kind of scrambling no down there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And not like intently focused on like getting you off. Yeah. I had, um, somebody, somebody in college, uh, ate me out once. This was a frat guy. He ate me out. So I was drunk at the time. I remember he went down by the time he came back up. I sobered up. You're sober. That's how bad I was like, no way. I'm telling you, Zach, hard tongue. No woodpecker. No. Into the pussy. Into no, the hole. No, like, babe. What do you think? What are you doing? Your dick. What? It, they're not the same size at all. So or maybe why is they that? Are. Or maybe. And then little did I know he was actually working. I was like, put the, oh, put, put put the, put the tongue back. back. Put the tongue back. <laughs> <laughs> that is, put that back. blows. But you also didn't give him feedback. Well, so this was one of my, I think I was like a junior or a senior. So I, I like, had listen gotten, up, freshman. I was like, listen for you. <laughs> I was like, it was it was a statutory rape. <laughs> no, he was he was under eighteen. Going he was on 19. he was there he was there for a college tour. It was actually orange. Ah! He was in high school. No, um, but I mean, hey, uh, you, they, they got to learn early. Um, so I, I, he, he said ha, he came up, and this was actually good of him. He said, "How'd I do?" Um, and it, you know, he mm-hmm. said, "How'd I do?" Uh, and I said, "Well, I said, Not honestly, great. you could." you could use some practice. Like I said it in like a sexy way, like, like maybe I'll let you do it again uh-huh. and practice. I'm uh-huh. like, you could use a little practice. And he was like, Oh damn. Okay. And then we had sex. Like, and then we had bad sex. Did like you? I, like was I, it like, bad sex? Like, yeah, of course it was. It was, okay. of it was course better it was. than what that was because it was more stuff inside. <laughs> <laughs> All I need is more stuff inside. Um, yeah, that's the key. Yeah, it was, it was more stuff inside of, of me to work with, but it still wasn't like... Never great. has a guy eaten my ass poorly and then been good at sex. Right, Or yeah. made out poorly and then, and then been, been, been good, good at, at something at else. I'm and, like, it's all connected. And like, I think we're better at clocking that earlier and being like, you know oh, what, this isn't going to work. Yes. Or something, you know what I mean? Yes. I, but as a kid, you know, no. a kid essentially, yes. I'm like... Uh, maybe maybe is, he's you know the, the we'll the, get there the grand finale is coming you know he's just not it's like a track and field like he wasn't good at the pole vault let's but see if he can you know run, jump the, i don't know okay things. damn it i Hurdle, thought you were gonna have like like sure. i Javelin? think pole vault should be so he wasn't let's say with the tongue thing he wasn't good at the rings at the ring toss. That's not a thing. Ring toss is like a <laughs> carnival game that's like a children's i don't watch the olympics <laughs> well uh, i'm just having sex uh yeah maybe he'll be better at the pole vault right. i want pole vault to be sex yeah you guys can figure out what what the, the other what, stuff what is. is the, the long Olympic. jump Ooh, long jump that's yeah. a thing they yeah. run and jump run and jump so that's when we get into my bedroom and he's he's at the doorway long, long jump. jumps onto me tongue first oh, into uh, the puss yeah uh, long wait. yeah but the head long, was long going tongue. The, the, the long, long tongue. tongue the long tongue into the pole vault he you're was like, doing no you're you? even doing it better you're moving it side to side it was i'm telling you woodpecker <laughs> just like woodpecker hard tongue like his tongue oh my tongue is so hard, hard penis for you. but make it a tongue hard penis but but it's your tongue in and out 
of, the, bet, hole, of went, the hole, not on the clit. Not even the clit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into the hole. This is so funny too, because I've never eaten a girl out. I think I'd be very good at it. I think, yes. I'd, I think I'd pick it up very quickly. I can t- like just by the conversations that we have, the way you hold yourself, what we our banter. <laughs> I know. I know, I know you'd you be better eat. than this yeah. guy. And in fact, I think it's time to move. No, yes. <laughs> it's time yes. To move to the demonstration phase two. Part of the uh, phase two. Um, Sign up for the Patreon if you yeah. want to see yeah. Helen sitting on my face. Friends with benefits. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah. So wait, college. Okay. So college was um, a boyfriend, but also a, ha- a some one night stands or one like, night stands mm-hmm. mo- like mostly and then i ended up dating this one guy uh from again my sophomore to senior year mm. i was a very like let's play the field freshman year yeah a let's see what's out there year. and he was then a sophomore as well he was yeah he was like a year older than me but we were in the same grade because he had done like a backpacking trip to europe after high school okay, like he was hot. like that yeah it was, he hot. was very hot. tall blonde okay like jaw line uh-huh. could cut like whatever jawlines cut skinny tall big dick big dick yeah big dick uh blue eyes it was it was zach it was me, <laughs> yeah, it was me. It was zach. It was me. he did look a lot like you really he actually looked a lot like you okay yeah so congrats i, I, will, I, mean, I actually really want to show you a picture because it's a, you guys have the same like coloring and like hair okay and eyes um anyways so do you like bonds i'm not, i don't have, you don't a, have a type i don't have a type i think i I don't. Uh, yeah, I've dated because what did the high school look, boyfriend look like? He was like, br- like really dark brown, c- curly hair, and like uh, glasses, and like. Oh, this more definitely nerdy. was like. I don't this know was what like, this. No, was. No, I was no, like, he was skinny. He's skinny. What is he like? <laughs> he was skinny. He wasn't. This makes it seem. I, yeah, like he was. Like, this ooh, was ooh, me. Ooh, this, ooh. <laughs> he was an oaf. Yeah, he um, was. <laughs> Shrek. Have you seen Shrek? He was Shrek. Yeah, <laughs> he used to do, put his ears inside of me. He used to side head butt Honestly, my pussy. That'd be more gratifying. That would be more then. gratifying than the tongue from that freaking frat guy. But no, I I I date a lot of like sh- I date a lot of like short nerds actually. But um, cr- yeah. Uh, I'm about to, I was about to say his name, but the guy in college, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the guy in college was tall, tall blonde, and not like, a nerd, not, my t- not a nerd, but he was like kind of like an REI guy. Yes, he was an um, carabiner. We went to like Thailand together and Australia, New Zealand. I studied abroad in Brazil, and like the same at the same time that I was there, he was a volunteer at the Rio Olympics. Oh. So I yeah, so like I went to like the Olympic game. We're talking about the Olympics wow. again. Why can't I can't remember You're the names obsessed. of the track. But um yeah, we 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 like it was so cool. He he was like a worldly guy. So Did you I, think you were in love? Yeah. I think we but I was very I, I think we were both afraid to say that back then and we were both afraid to like be boyfriend and girlfriend. I especially. I think he was a little more about it, but I was like I never wanted to be um Ellen and blah 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 like, ever oh do you know yeah and that was me in in college I was afraid of being an item it's like if we're dating it's like hey are Ellen and Zach here yet like yeah. where are Ellen and you Zach it's like that. I don't want to be Ellen and Zach I want to be Ellen so I was like afraid to be in a couple with someone. do you know where that came from that came from divorced I, parents probably divorced parents yeah I my, my parents divorced when I was one so I have no idea what it was like for them to be together sure. i can't see it honestly can't oh see it at yeah all. sure different. yeah can't you're like it. what did you yeah. ever what was happening i don't know <clears throat> um i wanted to always i never i have this like um or i had i'm way better about it now like i want to be using my time in the best most like efficient way possible or like doing the most fun or best thing for me so you didn't want to be tied and down so i didn't want to be tied down and i'm like well if i have this boyfriend then i'm gonna like end up going to dinner with him and not like doing this spontaneous thing with my friends like something like that you know i think everybody kind of Every, like I can relate to that. A lot of other people like, desperately want want the dinner that, with the guy, and I've never understood that. I'm like, agreed. It seems limiting. I think it's the comic in us too. It's like we're out every night, bopping from place to place, very lonely. giving wolf. ourselves to like we're being v- vulnerable on stage and also getting adoration. Yeah. Yes, getting adoration, which we act like that's not part of it. It's totally it is. fucking part of why we, we do it. Why the it fuck would point, we yeah. do it? Yeah, why would we do this if we didn't care that other people were validating like this, us? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Um so so yeah, I was always I was afraid of being an item with someone for a long time. 
and then um that probably stopped i i that part of myself stopped when i met the italian guy oh my god this is the, should i tell the story yeah, i think you oh should my god. okay it's like not it's like not sexual <clears throat> no it's, it's okay lo- it's, it's a love story. it's all lo- it's all relationships it's, all it's like i like it's talking about love. you know learning experiences but would you say so far the because i am kind of obsessed with like why people like because you were with guys for two years so I, like yeah. like you did you ever say I love you to the high school boyfriend? I said I love you to the high school boyfriend. Okay, and you oh, felt very like you know what it was then? I I think I regretted being with him for so long. The high school because boyfriend? Because I didn't do stuff with my friends in high school. Like I did do stuff with my friends and with my sports teams. But like my, you were defined my, my, my by teammates. having a boyfriend. But I was Ellen and Ellen and his, Blank. his name was Zach, actually. Stop. <laughs> but you're, that that's not the one who looks like you. Okay. The one which is that's so crazy. But I didn't want to be so I'm like, damn, I really flubbed that in high school, in college. And later I'm not going to do that again. I, I don't want to be tied down because I'll end up just like having sex at my boyfriend's house and then eating his mom's pot roast after, <laughs> which d- sounds like that a euphemism sounds for something. So gnarly. She was young. She was 36. I so ate that they, pot roast. They, I mean, I wouldn't be a bad, bad pot roast to eat, but um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, the Italian guy. Yeah. So was that where we were? Well, did your love, I was going to say, did your love, because you're with high school guy for two years, college guy for two years. And then is the next guy Italian guy? The next guy was a guy I moved to New York City after I graduated um, college uh-huh. and dated a guy who was like one of my best friend. Like he was like a best friend that I met at a, like a summer internship, and mm-hmm. we just had like we got along really well. Our humor was a lot alike, and he like he had a crush on me and I was like, no, we're just friends. We're just friends. And then I moved to the city, which is where he lived. And like, we ended up hanging out a lot and he kind of got under my skin and I was like, okay, like this is, and it was really nice, but it didn't last. That was like lasted less than a year. Okay. Cause then I went to Italy to be in, I went back. Oh yes. Okay. Uh, I was an au pair in Italy after I graduated college for the summer, came back, came to, to New York, moved to New York after the Italy thing, uh, dated the the one guy, the friend that liked you, dated the friend that liked me. I guess I, and then I, I said, I love you to him too, because like I did love him. Yeah, as of course. Friend, just not like, but I don't think I ever was infatuated in love with him. Like that. <gasps> I know. No, no, no. Sorry. I mean, yeah, you know, and New York and city, learn. when you first move there, you're like, so much is going on. I do want that thing. Like I'm doing a bunch of my shit. You don't feel tethered. I don't want to feel tethered, but I I'm like I'm like lonely and cold, and I'm tired. <laughs> like I like I want to like go to your place and cuddle. Yes. Like not all the time. Like I was doing a lot of stand up. A lot of I was out a lot, and like he was doing his thing. But like it was nice to like have someone home base. And he little. was like from the city too, so he knew. Like it was cool to be with someone from there who like kind of knew what was good. What was what 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 was that? What it was, was comfortable. That? It was comfy, comfy for sure. And then, okay. that's, and then we broke up. I went to Italy. The same family asked me to come be the be the au pair again. They're like, "Hey, new, new baby." No, um, same. It's just like one one daughter, but it was um, summer she, break. She she didn't have school, right? So the parents they were both they, they, this they're so hot. The parents were architects, not hot, and like I'm not trying to n- 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 nothing weird happened. I'm just saying they're very cool. Okay. The par- you no. want something weird to have happened, yeah, I mean, but it didn't happen. Not define with, weird, not, first not of all. Them. They <laughs> you're like Ellen. You're the one putting this out there. I didn't. I didn't. Say I looked anything. at you. I was listening to you. I didn't make a face. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so they were architects. So they were like at their ar- their architect's studio all day, and my job was to be with their daughter do a little bit of an english lesson in the morning and uh then ride our bikes to the beach resort that they were members of play in the adriatic sea in the one of the two pools that was in in the resort Uh eat like ice cream like gelato from the bar at the resort like crazy crazy life and then come home around lunchtime the kid was like my little sister she was like 10 she was nine the first summer and 10 the next summer like a, a, like a like it was i was part of the family like oh. she, i was her older sister essentially and she already spoke perfect english because she had had au pairs her whole life uh-huh. so she spoke i mean obviously it, it, italian spanish french english german like no cool as fuck this fa- family was so fucking cool they are so cool i've gone back to visit them she's now 14 or 15 so she doesn't like need me to be her au pair anymore but i've gone back to visit and stay with them and 
I'm just like, it's like my Italian family. That's crazy. So cool. It's so, it's, it was one of the greatest decisions. If I, if anyone's thinking about, if anyone wants to go to Europe, I mean, usually it's more of a girl thing, but I've met guy, guy, guy au pairs. You can break even and see Europe. Like you, you live with a family, obviously make sure the family's cool. Like right. I, I Skyped with them and I like felt my gut, my gut felt good mm-hmm. about it. Yeah, you know, yeah. when you're, you're, if, if there's anything off, you're probably right. And don't, go with that family like that's good advice for anything yeah if you, if right you, if you good feel advice for off, anything yeah you're probably right that's your gut talking don't try to talk yourself out out of that or into into something um because it's probably right uh anyway great family went back to au pair for them uh went to the beach ate homemade italian cooked food all year mm. then my mom and my two sisters at the end when i was done being an au pair I was like, hey, because my mom just retired from being a school teacher. It was my older sister's birthday. And like my little sister was going into college or something. Like Everyone, I'm like, we all have something to celebrate. Let's meet do me it. in Rome. Uh, I'll fly from New York to Rome. I'll meet you there. We'll do Rome for a few days. This is what days. dreams are made of. And then exactly. And then we'll go to Sicily for the rest for like the next week. And like we'll do the beach and we'll do the coast over there. Um, which is where I don't know if anyone watches White Lotus or if you watch White Lotus. The second season. The second season is where I was and I fell in love with this guy, by the way. So watching that show, it's not triggering, but it's like I was on like the that road. Street, Jennifer that street. Coolidge on the Vespa mm-hmm. on that windy road where she's really hanging on to the guy. That is the road where he took me to our first day. I'm like, I've been on this road, I've been in love on this road. Like it's you know what I mean? It was very crazy to watch that show. Um, but you're not there yet. I'm not there yet. Let me tell you. I'm on the plane from Rome. It, it, it's a plane. Cause so me and my my mom Family. and my two sisters were on the plane. Uh, my mom gets... It's like the three girls here and then my mom one row over. This guy next to my like the woman next to my mom is trying to talk to her in Italian and ask her something and my mom's like uh like Ellen what is she saying long story short the woman asks if my mom can like switch seats with her husband so that she, the husband can be with the kid or something like that and sure. my mom's like yeah sure whatever um so my mom gets moved my mom's not even supposed to be in this seat so my mom moves back one seat into seat that she's not even supposed to be in mm-hmm. but little did I know she was supposed, she was to, supposed be to be in that seat these two cute Italian guys walk on and squeeze into my mom's row and me and my older sister are like, oh my God, mom, my mom got lucky. She's yeah, with she's these two Italian Italian guys. guys yeah. And my mom is a very gregarious woman. She's speaking in like English idioms to these Italian guys. I'm like, they're, they don't understand. But luckily the two guys did speak English and so uh-huh. they're talking with her. They're showing her f- photos from their trip to Greece dick that pics. they were just not. Yeah, they're showing her dick pics. Like, this is what I can give your daughter. Like, do you <laughs> um, So my mom, so the guy in the middle seat ends up asking my mom like what do you what brings you to sicily where are you guys gonna go and my mom's like oh my daughter planned the whole thing let me get her to talk to you like ellen and then i turned around uh we lock eyes and it was one of those like oh what was that hello like hello i tell him in italian show off my little italian where like our itinerary Mm -hmm. our itinerary is going um and then i kind of look go back to my seat and i'm like okay weird we get we land in sicily we get off the plane i'm actually not even really thinking about the guy anymore i'm like let me just it's it's like you had a flirty it's moment 1 but you're like, yeah. like we're kind of like the flight was late i'm like okay we need to get off this fucking plane and get to the hotel and we're waiting for like a cab and oh we run into the guy who was next to my mom and he's like hey oh my god the guy's from the plane like uh do you um why don't you take my number in case you guys need anything i'm a local like if you guys if you guys have any advice if you need any advice or whatever on i'm 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 here i'm I'm a veil yeah and i'm like okay so i get this guy's number very smooth of him to yes. be like i can help you can help your family yeah and he, he he's like let me get you a cab because they're gonna rip you off like i got you and he like gets us a cab i'm like okay 
we take a cab to our Airbnb. The Airbnb that I booked ends up being a scam. Oh like it wasn't what was in the pictures. There's like stray cats inside, like scratch. Like it was like very straight. I was like, okay, it was like in an, a really dangerous like alley. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how dangerous it was, but it but just it like just felt, wasn't. It was not what this you were is promised. Not, this is, there was no room. The beds were, <laughs> there were like two beds like touching each other in the room and there was no room to walk and like the springs were broken. It was, it was like, I was like, okay, this is not, this is like not, not the good. Airbnb that I booked. And my mom's like, call the guy from the plane. I'm not staying here. Call him and like ask him for help. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, mom, that's so embarrassing, but okay. <gasps> call him. He books us, calls, books us a hotel that's around the corner, takes care of everything. Like we, we paid obviously, but like he takes, he bu- booked the, the How old whole, is this person? He was 26 at the time and I was 23. Okay. So he was three years older than me. Mm, um, daddy. Yeah, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> So he, yeah, 26, yeah. daddy. Whoa, daddy. Uh, whoa, okay, grandpa. Like, <laughs> uh, thanks for booking my hotel, grandpa. <laughs> like, I can't make a phone call. No, but he was better at, like, the, I was, I could speak Italian, but, like, he come could, on. like, yeah. For the, yeah. He was better at doing that. Then my older sister and I are like, we should take this guy out for a drink to, to thank him. He saved our trip, like, whatever. So we do. And uh, he, like, fits in with us perfectly because me and my sister are like best best friends we got a lot of banter and like like roasting each other and making fun of each other how old's your sister at this point she's two years she was 20 maybe she was like his age actually yeah 25 and i was 23 she's two years older so um then i'm so that night goes great and i'm like oh my god i think i have a huge crush on the guy that sat next to mom on the airplane this is weird and uh he and i go out the next night alone to that driving up that windy Mm, white lotus road mm -hmm. to tormina which is where the hotel is set like the those cobblestone you would fall in love and he was cute like you i would have fallen in love with like an ogre like a shrek a shrek yeah you're like it was so romantic this like seaside hilltop cobblestone street like a- ancient town like to- like italian tourist like town um yeah it was one of those like i just kind of we looked in each other's eyes at a Magical. certain point and like everything behind him kind of faded away and I, it was like oh like just us in the universe and we f- fell in love and i went back to new york and he, i was like yeah I'm, I'm going back to new york like i don't know what you want to do like this has been crazy because he would like basically did the rest of the trip with us like we were there for another f- five days and he like went to the beach with us and sure. like, did all the stuff with us like he was a part of our trip and my family loved him he was so cute like his cute little accent did and, you guys like, kiss uh yeah we we kissed on that night and like um we yeah we and then uh i was i was going back to new york uh and my family's flight was like a different flight back to somewhere like wherever they were going i don't i don't remember but so he drove me to uh i don't know if i told you this part before when i told you the story but so i slept over his house so that he could drive me to the airport Mm. in the in the morning and so we had because like if that hadn't happened then we wouldn't have had sex and then i would be in a long distance relationship with someone who i hadn't had sex with sure and i'm like that's fucking weird (laughs) um so i'm like we have to have sex so we had sex and it was it was good um it was it was it was really good okay and i was like in love with this person so i feel like it probably i don't i don't think it was that amazing honestly but i was like everything else i was I like, like this is my italian so, husband yeah like uh, we'll, we're gonna work on we'll it we'll figure we'll it out. figure it out this is the love of my life um <laughs> and yeah went back to new york uh we were long distance we would talk on whatsapp and whatsapp video mm. all the time and then he came for his first thanksgiving in the states and like he did christmas with us at my dad's house in in utah where we skied and stuff and then came here to la to see some friends here for like the new year like he met everyone that's ever mattered to me in my life ever and everybody loved him and then he went back to italy and i in march of 2020 went to go meet him for the weekend in rome when this thing called the coronavirus (gasps) march of 2020 2020 march i was i was gone for like march 1st to 5th or something like that or 5th to 9th or something like that and 
this thing called coronavirus was like in the north of Italy, but we were going to Rome. So I was like, I feel fine doing that. Like I'll go and I don't know when I'm going to see him again. So I have this trip planned. I'm not going to cancel it for this stupid flu. Yeah, like yeah. people are going to stop talking about this in like two weeks. I'm That's going exactly to see how I thought. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. Like, uh. yeah. This is like going to blow over. Um, so yeah, went to go. That was a great weekend. Stayed in like an Airbnb, ate pizza in Rome, romantic long weekend, whatever. As I'm flying back to New York, I'm in the air as Italy closes its borders. They're like, hey, we're, the coronavirus is no bad. No one's no or whatever. Yeah, we're closing our borders. So we're, but we're used to being in a long distance thing. So we're like, this will blow over. Like, we'll be fine. I was supposed to go to Italy for the summer because that's what I always do. Um, that ended up obviously not being able to ha- not able to happen yeah. because of the coronavirus and his yeah over the summer i think italy in its it, italy itself uh opened up a little more and his life started to get back on like he's he was a videographer or something like that so he was doing more events and stuff and his uh his texts and calls got less and less frequent and mm. this is someone who like we would text like, oh my God, I can't believe I found you. Like, I can't wait to spend my life with you. Like, like every day texting stuff like that, which like now looking back is also gross and insane. But like <laughs> at the time I was like, this is yes. just like what love yum, is. Yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Mm-hmm. And yeah, he would like leave me on red for like a whole day or like not call at the, like we kind of had a rapport because like he's a certain amount of hours ahead. Yeah. So when I wake up, I, I'm, I'm like, I usually have a message from him already, but like that wouldn't happen or he wouldn't call to say good night. And like little things that we had set in place, like kind of fell to the wayside. And I was like, Hey, what's, what's going on? Like, I just want to make sure, like, is everything okay? You seem pretty distant, like distant. And he was like, how do you think that makes me feel that you think I'm being no 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 first gaslight and i was like what he's like he's like you're acting crazy like you changed like i've never known you to be this crazy like (gasps) i don't know if i can deal with you anymore because you change and i'm like no i'm being crazy because you You. changed bitch and (gasps) it was the craziest most frustrating feeling of my whole life because this was someone who i'm like i don't know what's gonna happen in my life i don't know where i'm gonna end up or what's gonna happen for me in my career but i know that this italian man will be by my side like this like i know my dude i know in my gut that this is the guy and then he completely changed did he successfully gaslight you um i mean as much as someone can uh, no, because it ended up i mean the end of the story is i he wasn't really responding anymore it was like a couple fights like that i call and i'm like listen i need to know like what's going on with us and he's like i can't i can't do this anymore like it's it's over and did he and, blame you till the end like or- yes yes and then he sent me i never heard from him again uh, until I got this long, like that, like the next week or something, I got this long text, like, Hey, I'm grateful for what we had. And like, but in, in the end, we just weren't able to communicate. And like, I can't, and like, that's why I have to move on with my life and start a new life. Like something so dramatic and weird that was, that wrecked me. And ultimately was the reason that I moved to LA because I was like in New Jersey for the quarantine, no plans to go back to New York city. My only plan was to go to Italy for the summer. Summer, meet with this guy. That wasn't happening. And then my friends in LA were like, Hey, uh, I don't know what your plan is for the rest of the year, but like we need a third roommate here in LA. You should come here and you can still do stand up. Like there's outdoor shows happening. Like come on over. And I was like, honestly, fuck it. Yes, I will. Cause I'm not, so How interesting another kind of like uh restaurant s- story uh-huh, where i'm uh-huh. like i i'm fucked let me go do this thing and it ended up being the best possible thing and you're loving la loving la okay good yeah loving la like i surf i go to the beach a lot stuff that i can't do over the, like i love yeah. to visit the city uh new york city but um la to live is like i've got so much space and and i love the pace of life and there's still so many opportunities and like so many great people here so many i think i have more closer friends especially in comedy sure i have a larger amount of friends that i'm closer with here than i did in new york and maybe that's i i think i think that's actually 
rare for LA. People say that it's hard to make friends in LA. I don't know. People say it's hard to maybe date in LA. Yeah, yeah, maybe you are yeah. awful. Maybe people don't like you. I've never had trouble making friends, so it's hard to relate to that. But like, I've also been here a long time, and it's like I do like it here, and it's just it's it's more comfortable. It's so much. I can't imagine moving back now. I'm like, what? What? Do you, oh, I'd you have want to have. To I'd have to have tr- millions of dollars. So and even then I'd be like, and oh, even then I'd be like, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just Too flushing all this toilet, um, yeah. toilet down the money, yeah. all this money down the toilet. <laughs> That's what I'm doing now. Yeah. I, I don't have enough money. I'm flushing toilet down the money. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I totally agree. I couldn't, I, yeah, couldn't, couldn't do it. So the Italian guy left you in shambles. In complete shambles. I was like, not so, I wasn't, I didn't want to kill myself, but I was like, I want to wake up. I want to, I want to go to bed and not, not wake, wake up. up, which is like so dark. I'm totally fine now, but I was I like mean, really, really sad. And I had never felt that sad before. Um, so I guess to tie it kind of back to where we started the story, uh, which is about the love thing, like, and being okay with being a pair being with him. I was that was the first time that I was like, oh, it's actually cool to be with someone. Like, I'm so proud to be with this, like, cool, cute Italian guy. Like, that's my guy. Like, like, we're we're like a, we're like a, yeah, we're a, uh, a culturally, like, like our, 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 our couple, it's cool. Like, I'm like, damn, this is fucking awesome. And I'm in love with this guy and this is my guy. So like, fuck everyone else. This is awesome. Um, and then he dumped me. So I was like, well, f- fuck that again. And I think after that relationship, I got really scared of, you know, when you're with someone and you see a future with them, yeah. I got scared of seeing a future with people because I'm like, well, if I see a future with you, then when we break up, I'm going to be way more sad I mean, if, yeah. than if I didn't. Cause now I'm not only am I losing you, I'm losing the future that yeah. I created in my head. Good lesson to stay present. Yes. Yeah, one hundred percent. I think I am better at that. So then, what was the what was the like? Because you're in a relationship now. Do you call each other boyfriend girlfriend? Yeah. And do you say love? We say love. It's a (gasps) recent. Well, the boy himself, the boy himself, the boy himself is a recent thing but it's one of those ugh, now i'm gonna sound like a serial crazy bitch, no but like, it's just because i've asked you back to back he's, he's the, the one back back. i'm so proud um <laughs> uh yeah i think we both got like i have been through all of that stuff like really intense relationships really blah relationships that i kind of fell into mm-hmm. and now i'm in a place where i'm like i don't need either of those things like i i know who i am now um i know what i want uh and i didn't wasn't expecting to meet him at all i was actually stoked because i had just gotten out of a relationship and i'm like oh i'm gonna like just be with me and focus on me and it's gonna be Date myself sick. yeah and i'm super excited to grow like uh by myself and and like be with my friends and do my career and blah 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 and not and i still do all those things because i'm in a healthy relationship but uh spoiler alert i'm in a healthy relationship Ooh. uh and then he he had also just gotten out of a really long relationship and was excited just like me to like be by himself we met and like sparks flew and we were kind of like damn you're you're kind of that person i've been thinking of thinking that i you're the kind of the person that i've wanted for myself forever and didn't think you existed yeah and damn here you are so i can't for the sake of just because i thought i would be single for longer i can't deny this wow so i'm having so much fucking fun with this guy like that this is fun because I just, super we were just in Vegas yes, and you're with them. In Vegas <laughs> yeah, he's in a comedy band uh, who they were playing at the same hotel and venue that you and Bob were playing at. Or, yes. Or joking at. Yeah. Um, Which so is meant to be. Meant to freaking be. And now here we are. And we just had, that was a great weekend. So awesome to watch. Was it your first time traveling together? We, he, he actually came to Christmas this year. Stop. So it's New Year's right now. He came to Christmas. Uh, I mentioned my dad like lives in Utah now. We're not M- Mormon or anything. We're from New Jersey, <laughs> but he lives in Utah because he like loves to ski sure. and hike and stuff. So he's, I'm like, okay, whatever. So we usually ski over the holidays and Tom, uh, oh my God, am I allowed, wait. 
I don't care, out. but okay. I can I don't dig know. it out. I mean, whatever. So me and ta ta. So ta ta ta. On to the rest of the story. I don't know if I want to say it. Okay, I mean, I, I guess can I get out. Okay. Yeah. No worries. No, I mean, I don't. I don't think he'll care. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't really. No, if he doesn't bother you, I mean, you didn't say it less. We can talk it, about it. It doesn't. It really doesn't matter. Okay. So I'll start. I'll start again. Um. So for Christmas, uh, he came to ski with us he's never been skiing before never clicked into skis he's 30 Uh never clicked into skis in his whole life my dad is this like he usually he's taught like some of my friends before or like you know he taught me how to ski when i was like in college so Mm -hmm. i wasn't a kid i was like an adult yeah i i didn't we didn't ski as as kids um so he goes off with my dad for like the first two days of the trip and I'm off with my sister and her fiance. And, but like we all met up in the afternoon and for lunch and stuff and would do a couple runs together. But literally my, like literally never clicked into skis before he was on black diamonds by the end of the trip, Stop. By, by the fourth day, by the end of the trip. Stop. Like, like, d- like this guy, he's just doesn't take no for an answer. He's Is that him with play. everything or is he th- athletic? He's like, he's athletic, but I think he puts the work into stuff and he's like, once he's, once he is determined to do, listen to me, I've known him for literally like four months and now I'm like, that's just who he <laughs> that's is. Who like he that's is. like I mean, to his core. That's he's his vibe. a doer. Uh, yeah. He's a doer. Like I've known him for years. Um, no, he, he, he definitely gets really determined to do stuff and he's like, I want to be really good at that. And like, does it but any and he doesn't compl- he doesn't complain like when i was learning to ski i was like i'm freezing these boots are hard i'm wearing falling hard boots stuff. i'm falling i'm i this hurts i'm cold blah 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 this sucks like i don't want to do this he never complained once he was just like if he fell down a run we would be on the lift back up and he'd be like i just want to try that again like I'd, I'd love to try that again and i'm like no okay. absolutely not No, like he's he's kind of perfect i'd be like i did it i did the uh, yeah slopes, i'd be like i got alone. down and yeah. now i'm going up and i'm having hot chocolate and we he loves to relax too so like he does all the hard work and then we have like hot cocoa and chill and but anyway it's not all about the skiing but <laughs> it's not all about the skiing it's about how much my parents like him yes uh, which is a lot they he he loves them they love him everybody gets along is there any reason he abandoned his family for the holidays he so there we're actually both from new jersey we have the same area code so he had already like been to new york for shows like so recently that flying all the way back is like kind of this big to do feat yeah Yeah. um so yeah and i felt bad i was like are they gonna be chill that your girlfriend of like a couple months like you're going to her Christmas that's so I don't want to be hated for that sure. but they're all chill they like they're fine with it yeah so everything's going well <coughs> that's um, so exciting it's very exciting I'm and I I think yeah it's just one of those things where it's like you know uh I've learned a lot up to this point and I think I'm the most I mean you hope to be this but I'm the most truly who I am to others right now like i'm the most okay and secure with myself than i've ever been so sharing that with another person who's also at that level and and, and at that place in their life is really fun and blissful. really cool it's yeah blissful. it's like it's you said you haven't had a fight yet we haven't had a fight I, i'd love to come back on the pod after the after our first yes fight and talk about it um i'm just i'm or at least just give you a call and let you know what it was about i don't know what i'm gonna wear like i'm really excited for the fight for the fight like i'm so excited like What's it's gonna so be an event funny is like you don't get into fights in general i'm yeah, guessing i'm not really and it's not that i am not confrontational i definitely think i do i'm not a i i, I definitely kind of say on my mind say what's on my mind more than the average person yeah uh but but i'm, I'm not mean, yeah I find, I'm not fighting i find people. less and less need to i don't surround myself with people who are bingo yeah i'm just like it, it, it if there were like a miscommunication like i don't know i'm just not interested in it it seems like an energy suck that's you're absolutely right it's like there's no time anymore for Mm -mm. now that what are are we what what matter like what what's the core of this yeah you feel insulted i feel insulted you know what i mean it's like yeah let's just like get it and you can kind of tell right away like what i was saying about the gut feeling Mm -hmm. my first conversation uh, because i'm a person i think you're maybe like this too i go into meeting people wall down like yeah wall down same i'm me 
it's as if we've known each other for years. I'll be myself and hey, I'll kind of yeah. let you in and be really open and listen and talk openly, whatever. And then it's up to you if I to keep the be wall crazy down. or not. <clears throat> yep. I'm going to, so I, so I get for into sure. kind of little, uh, like the buds of a friendship will start happening with a person and then i'm like oh wait a minute like you're no, you no, weren't no, doing no, like no. a character because i sometimes with comics i'm like oh maybe they're doing like a character or like a bit and like they're they're about to go on stage so maybe they're kind of being a little bit In more there, yeah. out there but i'm like oh no that's no, no, you're no. crazy as yep. fuck so um yeah and the last thing on the pod is what is a piece of advice you'd give to little ellen before she began like her Ooh. Sexual the, journey. The sexual journey. Or oh. like, or relationships, you know, whatever, sex and relationships. Let's keep it sexual. I went kind of lovey dovey relationship for a second, and I would hate to do that to the listeners. No, I want to give them enough sex. You to know go what? Around. I feel like there's also people who tune in for the relationship aspect of it. Okay. Let's but do a little you. bit. Let, I'll, a little do, bit I'll do a little mix. bit of both. I'll do, because um, I guess they kind of go ha- go hand in hand. Yeah. They, I mean, hopefully. I'm going I'm to pull it out of my ass right now and see how, we, how much hand in hand we can get them to go. Yes. Um, uh, first thing that comes to mind is what I was talking about earlier where you're in a situation and you're like, well, I guess I just have to let this guy finger me. Like, no, you don't have to let the guy finger you. Um, it is very scary to have like the violent aspect uh, t- on that. Like, oh shit, for my safety, I have to kind of go with this. Oof. That that obviously sucks. And 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 I, I don't even know what to say on that, to be honest, because it's every every situation is a little bit different but i'm you know if it's just like a a hookup and it's you and uh like how it has been with me a lot of short nerds then and you and you feel safe then just you know vocalize your needs vocalize your needs um you're doing a service not only to you and your sexual health and your experience and the fun that you're having overall, but you're doing a service to the partners that that person is going to have next because they're going to be better partners to the next woman or whoever that they bring back to their room. And and they're going to know not to woodpecker tongue your pussy. If you like are honest and you're like, Hey, what was like, that wasn't a thing. That's not, like, the, that's, that's not, not a it. thing. Like, I don't know that's who you dated before that we, this. Right, right, right. That didn't say anything, but I'm going to say something. Um, so say something because it benefits not only you in the moment, but then your fellow chicas after, <laughs> um, and yeah, and also not settling in a relationship. I think I I was in relationships before that I was like, oh, you have to fight and work through stuff in a relationship, which is tr- true. I still b- believe that. Um, like you have to compromise and work through stuff and whatever. Like, yes, I think to a certain extent, r- relationships obviously take work, but I think I was like with the wrong people and being like, oh, all this X, Y, Z other stuff is good. I have to get through this other stuff in order to make it out on yeah, the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be stronger for this it in the end. This is the fight. Yeah, this is know? the fight for love. And it's like, mm. you, actually there's somebody out there for you that, you don't have to fight. You don't have to fight. Again, me knowing this guy for like two months. I I'm like, love you don't it. fight. I, <laughs> like, I no hope, shit, you don't fight. You don't I know him. I hope the next time we check in, it's like eight years down the road, you like are married, you know, you guys. Yes. Okay. Zach said it. I'm going to, Zach said okay. it. Okay. Zach said it. I didn't say it. I think you might be right. Yeah. But anyway, go ahead. <gasps> oh, no, no. I just like, I mean, it'll be very wise of you. This, this advice you're giving will be Ooh, I'd very love to wise see my shitty little young self like like honestly like you could just be in a relationship and not fight like and then me <laughs> picking a fight for eight years with him after this episode um i should be so lucky to get to pick fights for eight years with him oh um, yeah. but no in all honesty you don't if there's a core thing that you it's a value and it's and it doesn't and and everything else is great with this person but like these big core things are not lining up. There are so many fucking other people out in the world. Yeah. You're not going to be alone. Yeah. You're not going to be alone. And if you are alone, you have to trust that you're bet that you're better off. Yep. Alone. Love it. You know? 
Okay. What? Sexual, loving, sensual. You nailed it. Yes. You have the t- okay. you even brought back Woody Woodpecker, which is one of my Woody favorite Wood- parts. I know. Of the I had to do a call back to Woody Woodpecker. Um, where can people find you? People can find me on Instagram at Ellen Harold. Harold has three R's. My last name has two R's, but two R's was taken. There's a wow. There's a little Scottish girl who plays drums with my name. She's super cool. You can follow her too. I kind of <laughs> I follow her stuff. Um. But does yeah. she have a following? No, <laughs> just me, just me and like her friends. And we like should be able Snapchat. to physically fight for, for the our, handle that we ooh, want. I would be fighting a Scottish child who probably would be stronger yeah. than me. Scrappy, Shrek, Shrek talk about Scrappy. Was Scottish, so was every, Shrek Scottish? No, I don't know. What What's Mike Myers? I don't. <laughs> what's Mike Myers? What accent does Mike Myers speak with? Oh, but you're right. Scottish, I think he was, right? Oh, He's like donkey, donkey. Donke. That's Scottish. <laughs> We can probably, probably find it on the Wikipedia. So of Ellen Shrek. Harold, the original Ellen Harold, from she has Shrek's blood running through her veins. So I do not want to fight her. Don't want to fuck with her. I'll just stick with the three R's, which is where you can find me, Ellen Harold. Three R's on Instagram. Um, I'm on Twitter uh, as hors d'oeuvres. It's or, the word hors d'oeuvres, the French word hors d'oeuvres with a W in front because oh. I'm clever. Hor, Dude, hors that d'oeuvres. is the hardest word to spell. It is the hardest word to spell, which is why I have no followers. But if you want to find me on Twitter, Twitter's the weekend, also a hellscape. Wait, yeah, fighting Twitter's for dead. my life. On Twitter. Actually, yeah. Don't even. Aren't we not supposed to be on Twitter? I don't. I don't care. know. Like whatever. Don't find me on Twitter. Just find me there. Come to if you live in LA or if yes. you're in LA on a Thursday. Come to um, Rooster Fish on Abbott Kinney. There's a little show called Abbott Kidding where you can maybe even possibly be so lucky to see Zach Noe Towers. Oh my god! On any given lineup. <laughs> Um. Yeah. 8 p.m. every Thursday at Roosterfish. Abbott Kidding. We have Instagram too at Abbott Kidding. A B B O T Kidding. And that's that's, that's pretty much true. it. I'm so happy. Yeah. Thank you here. for doing this. Thanks for having me. So much fun. Yeah. I spoke a lot. No, Thank that's the listening. idea. I, I would be is a bad interview with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is this it? I is feel like I was thing? talking like the so whole time. much. Yeah. <laughs>